integral. Okay, um, when I have a look at part E, this looks even worse than what you started with. And you might think to my, yourself, my goodness, like if I wanna deal with each term individually like I did with the previous question, I'm gonna have to expand this. It looks like a terrible mess. Look how high those indices get. But you don't need to expand this. You don't need to. If you look carefully, you'll see that there's some structure within this question that allows you to avoid expanding altogether. Have a look at um, these, these two things that are being multiplied together. You've got 45x squared plus 100x, and then you've got this 3x cubed plus 10x squared. Now, I want you to look carefully at these two different functions, and I wonder if you notice there's a relationship. For example, you can see here that the power here compared to the power here, it's one less, right? And the power here compared to the power here, that's a one that's hiding there. Zoop. Um, it's also one less. You also have, let's highlight this, you've got this guy here, which is a multiple of three. You've got this, which is a multiple of three. Uh, and then lastly, you've got this 100, which is a multiple of 10. So there is meant to be a relationship between everything in this set of brackets and everything in this set of brackets. So I've just turned this into a rainbow mess. Let's clean that up now. To see the connection more clearly, I want you to consider this guy as f of x. If that were f of x, then f dash x would equal, hmm, think about it carefully. I'm gonna bring the, power, the index down. Um, three becomes nine x squared, reducing the index by one. And then I'm gonna have the second one, which is 20x, because I brought that uh, two index down the bottom and uh, multiplied it by 10 to give me 20. 9x squared plus 20x. Now, that is not equivalent to this, but it's pretty close, because if I take out a factor of five, you can see that this guy is five outside of, lo and behold, 9x squared plus 20 X. Now, you might think, how did I know to find that? What made me think that there would be something related between those two? The answer is, um, I'm familiar enough with integration and differentiation to know that if I'm integrating, I'm expecting the reverse chain rule. So the part of that that's relevant, if you think about how the reverse chain rule works, um, for something like, say, this guy over here, I've got f dash x out the front, there's my derivative, and f of x inside the brackets and raised to some power. f dash x and then f of x. And I hope you can see that's exactly what I have here. I've got five lots of f dash x. So therefore, what I'm gonna write is, uh, if f of x is equal to this three x cubed plus 10 x squared, etc then f dash x is equal to 9x squared plus 20x. So I'm gonna rewrite the entire integral using this f of x notation. So I've got five lots of f dash x, and then I have f of x raised to a power. In this case, it's a power of three. So what have I got here? Um, what I want really is for there to be a, when I go and do this simplification, I want there to be an F dash and an F next to each other. So I'll just cut that five out the front. Here's F dash and here is F. And now what I'll do is I will raise the index of that f of x because when I differentiate, the power goes down. When I integrate, the power goes up. It's going to be f of x to the power of four and then I divide by that new index plus, of course, a constant of integration because this is an indefinite integral. Now, I'm pretty much done. I um, can leave this more or less, but I was the one who introduced f of x, not the question. So therefore, I'll just substitute it back for what the question provided. Uh, that's going to be 3x cubed plus 10x squared. It's all raised to the power of 4, and then it's divided by 4. Now, it's true, after doing this amount of work, you can be, um, oh, I forgot my constant of integration. You can be quite uncertain that you got the answer right. So if you are in the position where you've finished the paper, you're checking through and making sure that your answers are correct, one of the great things about every integral is you can check by differentiating. So let's just, because we have some time here, let's go ahead and differentiate this result. If I differentiate uh, five lots of 
3x cubed plus 10x squared, all divided by 4 on 4. I'm going to ignore the constant of integration because I know when I integrate that I'll just get 0. Let's begin the process of differentiating. I'm going to get 5 out that front. My index of 4 comes down the front so it's going to be 4 times 3x cubed plus 10x squared all to the power of 3. The index drops down. That on 4 is still there from the original fraction. I've now dealt with the outside function, something to the power of 4. It's become 4 something to the power of 3, but I still need my inside function, which in this case is, I worked it out just up above here, it's going to be 9x squared plus 20x. So I'm done with the differentiation, now I just need to tidy up. Firstly, I'll cancel those two 4s together, and then I notice 5 times 9x squared plus 20x suspiciously becomes 45x squared plus 100x multiplied by my 3x cubed plus 10x squared to the power of 3 and you can see that exactly matches uh, what was in the original question. So if you're ever in doubt and you have the time, check your integration by differentiating.